Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless. And today we're going to try something a little different. We're going to try and create a frosted glass. And in this case, I'm going to do a frosted glass credit card. But you can use it for Windows or anything else you'd like to try. But before we do, I really appreciate it if you stop for a second and click that like and subscribe button. Thanks so much. And let's get started. I pulled in this background from stock photos. The background is just there for a background. You can put any background you want. You could get it from stock photos. If you want, you don't want flowers, just pick anything you'd like. So now I'm just going to go to the rounded rectangle and make a, maybe a credit card, what you think might be a credit card size. Um, you can check measurements if you want. I'm just doing this for graphics work, but uh, that looks about right to me. And then I will go to the corner tool, and instead of 25%, I'll go really small. Maybe just a tiny bit, tiny bit of rounding on the corner if I can get it to move. That looks about right. So I'm going to turn that to a gray. So I can go right here. That's your neutral gray. And then I'm going to click, instead of opacity, I'm going to click again. And that's noise. I'm going to add full noise, just like that. And then I'm going to go to this little gear right here. And this is blend options, which is just like blend if in Photoshop. So I'm just going to pull down this bar right here. And what it's going to do is make the white disappear. And you can pull it down as much as you want. I'm going to go all the way, just like that. And then I'm going to go to effects which is here. This is very simple. Going to effects and I'm even going to cut down on the fill opacity on this one. Just a touch more. Maybe like that. And then I'm going to do a bevel and emboss. I'll do an outer bevel. And just a little bit. I don't need just a touch. Maybe like that. That looks pretty good to me. And then I am going to type in, let's say, let's try, I don't know, Mary's Flower Shop. Since we have flowers in the background, there's Mary's Flower Shop. And that looks okay there. And what I'll do with that, I'm not sure if I'll do white or black, but well, I, what I'll definitely do is do a bevel and emboss outer, I think right there, and really very little. Just let it look like it's popping up just a little. And I could decide on black or white. Let me see what white looks like. No, I think I'll go with, I'll stay with the black. I can even do a gray, but I'll stay with the black. So it's Mary's Flower Shop. In fact, let me look at this one more time. I didn't, I think I did, Bevel and emboss. So let's, I think I'm going to change my mind on that. I think I want 3D. And I'll keep the 3D to maybe there. I think I like the edges on the 3D on there. So let's do Mary's Flower Shop. And that works out right there. Let's center her with center these together. There you go. And now I'm going to do the credit card number is say 1234. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And I could put that right here. And I can give it the same bevel and emboss. I think a little larger. Let's do that. There we go. And centered. And I can do a bevel and emboss on that. There, outer again, and just a tiny. I don't want it so thick. I want it to look like a credit card that it's embossed into the credit card. And then, of course, you need an expiration. So that would be EXP, and let's say 1023. And, I, and I'll leave it at that. And I can emboss that too, but I think I, that's usually just printed. It's not embossed, so I'll leave it like that. And there you have it. It was simple as that. You created a frosted glass credit card. You could do window panes and just 
select the inside of the window, delete that part, and then throw the frosted glass in there. It works exactly the same. You can also cut down on some of the opacity if you think it's too much. I can see how I can lower it or raise it. So you could decide how much frosting you want or how see-through you want it to look like just glass. And it, it all works pretty good. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please click that like and subscribe button and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.